What's going on you feisty my foes? John GTFO here and welcome back to the Eagles Ascend. The season is over. And now we push forward into next year. But what happened? I hear all you asking. What, John, what's going on? Where'd you finish? What was the fixtures like? Hold your horses, young ones, and probably older ones than me. I will show you the fixtures right now. And I will say, bit of an interesting viewing. So, let's go and have a look. So, starting where we left off last episode, in February, 3-2 loss to Swansea, fifth round of the FA Cup, we're out. Strandsburg, Mariapa, scoring two goals. 88th minute goal from Wilfred Boney. What a bastard he is. Oh, I had to wait till then to actually show up in the game, but once he did, he just couldn't come back. As a result, I'm happy to take, to be honest. One all draw away at Everton. Strandsburg getting a goal. Mariapa scoring an own goal from a corner. Extremely unfortunate. Happens. Come over point, though. Very happy with that. You know, a respectable loss here at Man City. 2-0. They We were at home, but, you know, their squad depth, their squad talent is unreal compared to ours. Uh, Debaya did get injured. Wasn't serious, though. I think it was like a knocked knee or some shit. He's out for a day. Whatever. Get up. Boring James Milner comes on. Didn't score, though. Thank God, because he definitely would have tweeted something about that. But, you know, we didn't get any points here, but it's to be expected. A result that could have gone either way, to be honest. Debaya and John Williams getting the two goals here, and then Jacarini and John O'Shea getting the two goals there. We didn't dominate possession, they did, but I'd say chances-wise, perhaps we could have nicked the game. But at the end of the day, a point's a point. We didn't lose any points. We didn't, you can't lose points in football. We didn't not gain any points, so I can't really complain that badly. Oh, well. I'll tell you what, my tactics do bring out board draws, but a point's a point for Crystal Palace at this point in the season. And I will not complain about that. nil nil against Tottenham. Come out of the uh, little rut we were in for not winning the game. Come out with a 2-0 win at Fulham. I went balls to the wall in this one. We nicked some points. Rather happy with that, to be honest. Uh, John Williams, fantastic name, by the way, mate. Scored a goal and so did Mark Hall Brighton. Two very good young players at the squad at the moment. Again, went balls to the wall. Dubai are getting a goal. And Adrian Mariapa scoring two cheeky headers. One from a corner and one from a free kick. Lovely stuff. Three points away at Hull. A game where we needed to be winning. And we did. Good stuff. Swansea this season and probably my bogey team. Played them three times, drawing two losses. Not my favourite outing, to be honest. But Alan Tate, he did a Mariapa and scored two headers. What a bastard. Wilfred Boney getting a goal. Dubai and Mark Brighton scoring. My young players are getting into it. And they are my signings, by the way. Just run them out there and do my signings. But they're doing pretty well for themselves. So, you know, we didn't get a point. But, you know, positives to be taken. So... Adrian Mariapa getting two big goals for us here at Stoke. Two, well, not at Stoke. It was at Crystal Palace. I don't know what I'm doing. 2-1 win for Crystal Palace. Three big points. Mariapa getting two goals. We didn't win the possession battle again, though. Nice result for us here at West Brom. 3-2 win for Crystal Palace. Dubai getting two. Valvija and Valvida scoring a cracking goal as well. I thought we'd thrown it away. We were 2-0 up and it came back to 2-2. But, you know, Dubai... Are He's just a crack. He's a cracking player. I'll be honest. He's been a brilliant buy for us. Scoring the goal that won us the game. Lovely. Three points. What an awesome result away at Liverpool this is. 2-1. Shamak sinks Liverpool. 89th minute goal for Shamak. <laughs> I brought him on because the buyer was having a weak game against Sacco at, you know, in defence and Skirtle. So I thought, you know, bring on... <laughs> bring on Shamak and he scores a fucking goal I couldn't believe it Gerard scores an incredible goal as well which was goal of the season so it was a bit bullshit but we got the win three points thank you very much in two games Arsenal have only taken one point off us and it was in this game with Derek Boyata scored an own goal unluckily for him and Yannick Balassi had a strong last two games which is coming up next scoring the goal here and you know I came into it with the mindset of bag and draw, playing defensive, and it seems to really work against the bigger teams, guys. And as you can see, the results speak for themselves here. To be fair, Arsenal were playing a bit of a weakened squad with Dongu up front, but we managed to win it, and it was a cracking, cracking game. Arsenal really should have got three points, but we snuck a point, snuck a draw, GG. Now, I don't know whether the defensive tactics and counter-attack tactics are just working so much better in this game, but we managed to win 2-1 against Man United, at home, Michael Brighton and Yannick Balassi scoring two goals in the last two games of the season. He's done piss all up until now, and he'll be doing piss all next season when I sell him, hopefully. So, <laughs> unbelievable result considering the squad that Man United have got. I mean, everyone knows they're a bit weak now, but they've got Pastore in there as well. Nani, Cagua, Rat, uh, Percy, Van Percy, Pastore, all attacking for them, and we still managed to get three points. Cracking last game for us. I don't know whether it's defensive and the counter-attack attacks are just working, but they really, really are working for us. 
And that is it. The season is over. Crystal Palace sneak an eighth position finish. What a strong shine from the boys this was. I would not have predicted eighth at the start of the season where I started off with the squad that I had. But we've made some adjustments. We've brought some players in. And that is the reason we finished so high. I'm going to point you down to 19th now. And you'll see that Liverpool got relegated. Um... <laughs> um. Yeah, Liverpool have been relegated. There's a lot of unhappy fellas at Liverpool at the moment. Ali Sissoko and Victor Moses. I can have a little I'll tell you that. But I will try to be poaching a couple of players off Liverpool. And I am actually successful. Spoiler alert. Martin Laudrup or Michael Laudrup's not going to be there for much longer in my opinion. I don't know why I got sacked from Swansea in the first place. But he did. Um, so, oh, crap. Let's just, let's just go back. Let's appreciate the league table for a bit. Oh, so, Man United winning. Chelsea come second, third. Or Man City, uh, fourth for Everton, bagging a Champions League spot instead of Arsenal and Tottenham, big plays from them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over the biggest performers and the worst performers of the season. Just give you a brief overview in my opinion. Really low scoring point season, I will say that as well. 79 points for the winner, very strange. My personal player of the season is Stefan Strandberg. You all saw that I picked him up at the beginning of the season for about 225,000, now valued at just about 3 million. He's had an absolute astounding season for the boys. Got a 7.818 ratio overall throughout all of his games. He has done fantastic. In the future, I'm going to be looking to make him captain. He's currently vice-captain after I sold the captain because he was shite. <clears throat> yeah, so he's currently vice-captain. He will move up to captain, though. He's only 23. He's got such a long career ahead of him, and it's going to be at Crystal Palace. One of the shock performers, if I'm honest, this season, Jack Hunt. A lot of the players that Ian Holloway brought in for the squad have been an absolute shambles. Dwight Gale, they spent four point eight million on. I wouldn't fucking buy him for two hundred thousand. He was useless. But Jack Hunt bought him for two million, now worth four. Absolutely amazing season. Seven point oh four rating overall. Only got one goal for the team, but he played fantastic. Let's see how many assists he got exactly. He got only got three assists, that is a surprise. But he had a fantastic year. He must have been defending his arse off. But he's really helped us solidify the back line with Strandberg. And it's been really, really good having him in the team. When started taking over the job, a lot was said about John Williams. Kraken name, by the way. He said that oh, a lot of my scouts were saying that he was the best player at the club. He had the most potential. And he really did show it this season, I'll be honest. he, I came in, I looked at him. I wasn't really that impressed. But he's come out of this having this season, which has been fantastic when I've been playing him. He really sort of suited the support striker with Dubai towards the second half of the season. Really did well for me then. But he's got really good attributes for a 20-year-old. And again, he's so young. He's going to have a cracking career ahead of him. And again, it will be at Crystal Palace. So, that has been our season. The players are enjoying a lovely relaxing holiday now. Those who aren't injured, of course. And I will say this. The squad will change for next season. The transfers have been made for next season. I've played it out. I've done what I've done. And there have been a lot of players coming in. And a lot of players going out. But it's all going to work out for the better. I promise you that. But thank you very much for watching guys. The first season of the Eagles Ascend is done. Cracking season we've had. Oh, Moving into next season now. Next episode will be the tactics episode. Because I want to just perhaps show you guys how a lower a sort of lower end team can be managed because i don't know it's a bit of a strange i was i was looking for tactics because what i do on fm is i learn from what i see and then put it into my own situation and i was looking and there was no real tactics for lower league teams that i agreed with a lot of them i didn't agree with that i saw so i'm going to go over that next episode so that's probably going to be coming out tomorrow because i'm going to go and record it now because you know Fire, fucking why not you know what I mean you know what I mean so guys thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button because it does promote penis growth and let's be honest guys who doesn't like a bit of penis growth eh because I certainly do boys I will tell you that right now I certainly do so oh, please leave a comment if you think I can improve anything if you want to see anything or any potential transfers for January next year because like I said the transfer window is over apologies for that because I know you probably should have asked your opinion January give me some transfers for January <sighs> See you later, guys. Enjoy your day.